Welcome to Broad Ideas. It's just me on the mic right now. Olivia has been down with the COVID (laughs) and Rob is playing softball. But today, sorry, I have like morning voice. I haven't even had my coffee yet, but I had to jump on because this is a super exciting guest we have today. Melissa Fumero, you might know her from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, is joining us today. She has a new podcast entitled More Better with her co-star Stephanie Beatriz. She has such an impressive resume. She's so super cool. Loved, loved talking to her and getting to know her. So I say stick around and give it a listen. Also, we don't have a post either because Olivia has been taken out by the COVID and Rob is playing the softball. So enjoy today's episode. We will be back next week, the three of us afterwards. But you get all of Melissa all the time because that's what I'd like. All right. Welcome to Broad Ideas. So where did you grow Oh, Jersey. You're from Jersey. I'm from Jersey. Okay. Yeah. And you have an August birthday. You're a year younger than me in August, and I'm in August, but Oh, what 81, day? The 25th. Oh, okay. Your Maybe birthday's think. coming up. Yeah. Mama. Birthday's coming yeah. up. Yeah. Nice. So you grew up in Jer do you grew up there or just were born there? I grew up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I grew up there. I moved to the city. When I was going to college, like when I was 19. Oh, and then okay. I was there for yeah. 10 years before I moved here. Oh, wow. Yeah. How do you like it here now? I love it here. You do. You do. The first few years were rough. Okay. I wasn't ready to leave New York. Got it. Yeah. You know, I kind yeah. of left like kicking and screaming. Okay. And my husband was like, no, we can't stay. We will run out of money so fast. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> we both weren't working. And at the time, you know, this is now... 12, 13 years ago, mm-hmm. uh, L.A. was still, like, more affordable than New York. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. Like, rent like, I wonder yeah. what it is right. now. Very close. Is it, like, the gap, yeah. Uh, yeah, the yeah. gap has closed. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but at that time, yeah, like, rent was way cheaper. And just in general, you know, groceries, like, in general, he was like, we will stretch our money much more right. if we move to L.A. And, yeah. Wow. Can we talk about groceries for a second? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that a bag of cherries is $18? What? I'm sorry. I heard you shopping. I, that's what I said. <laughs> so you have to kind of like preface with it with, you were shopping at Gelson's. I went, oh, that doesn't count. It doesn't? Like, <laughs> no. I mean, okay, because like, I got floored and I Gelson's wanted to walk whole out food and prices. return it. Yeah. yeah. Like Gelson's, yeah. Whole Foods, yeah. Air One, like but all of that. $18? That is steep. But I want to see what the same cherries are at like Ralph's. I'm just curious. Maybe I am too. There is... There is no. This is real yes. because prices I, have gone up. There's a there's a Spanish store near my house, yeah. Superior, that I go to because they have the right kind of beans that I like. It's a thing. If you're <laughs> Latin, wanna, it's a thing. Now I want to know. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. We need to know. They have what like type the of beans. right kind, like the Goya. Like anyway, oh, Goya, yeah, yeah, Goya. But like they have some anyway, and they have like the right seasonings strain. and like whatever for me to like make my beans the way I want them to make them. But also they have great produce, and yeah. I went in there last week, and they had. Big ass mangoes, like three for a dollar or what? something. What? Or like two for a dollar. Dude, I'm coming for you in your store. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was it. a huge <laughs> mound of mangoes. It was like a whole huge crate and it was wow. so cheap. And I, I bought like eight of them. And then today I was in Whole Foods and I noticed there was just a little pile of red mangoes <laughs> and they were like three dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. how does that happen? They I just was like, that's a show. huge, yeah, it's a huge price it's difference. It's a huge price difference. Yeah. I saw something on Instagram where this guy was comparing his grocery bill, the same exact order. I forget how many years ago it was, at least a few years ago, right? And it was like 126 and three years later, it was $450, like something yeah. like that. No, I, I'm, it I'm feels quoting it a little wrong, well, but. It's, well, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's also like, well, yeah. it's infuriating it's, that like, it feels like nothing can be done, right? Because like all these food prices went up with inflation. Right. And then they just stayed there. Right. Even though right. like inflation went back down a little, like they didn't change because right. they're like, everyone will just get used to playing those prices. That's People right. have to eat. Like, what are they going to do? Right. They have all the fucking power. They have all the power. Because mm-hmm. we have to eat. 
I know. It drives me crazy. I get into these like spirals a lot. And then I'm like, what are they doing with all the bad food? Right. Is it, you know, how much food are we wasting? How much food are we wasting? Uh, That's what, and I saw this whole thing on like expiration dates where it's like kind of bullshit. It's not real. It's not real. Mm -hmm. And I have a hard time with it with certain things, you know, like I don't really want to eat meat after. Oh, yeah. No, that I get. Yeah, and they're like, well, smell it and you'll know. But it's, anyway, it, yeah. it's a whole Meat is, thing. Yeah, it sketches me out. But though. it's really comforting. But everything else? I know. Everything else. If it else, doesn't say use by, that's right, the that's difference. The, that's yeah, the if it says word. use by, you like maybe have to listen to it a little bit. Right. But if it's just best, best buy, buy or whatever, like that it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's arbitrary, I think. Yes. Did mm-hmm. you grow up with your mom like cutting the hard part of the cheese off and giving it to you? Like the I'm sorry, what? Like, oh, like the, the edge of the off? cheese? Yeah, like she would just be like, oh, you just cut it off. Oh, yeah, my mom does che- that. Yeah. 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 I do too. There would be yeah. like a spot on the cheese and she would just cut it off and be like, it's fine here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course. No, she yeah. still does that. Sometimes like you Parmesan will get yeah. like, yeah. Just, she's like, just cut it off. It's fine. The rest you just of it's cut fine. It off. I know. I still get weird though. I'm like, I get a little weirded. Is it weird? Like I cut off like the moldy, like bad parts of the strawberry and then still give my child the rest of the strawberry? Oh, I do that too. No, I, That's yeah, fine, I do right? that. Yeah, yeah. Like I do the little like feel stuff. test. If the rest of it's pretty firm, I'm like, it's yeah, fine. It's Just fine. this half went bad. It's fine. Right. Yeah. Raspberries With, go I bad like they're so fast. It. So fast. Sorry. I'm just like, we're on this, <laughs> I know we're on this whole food <laughs> tangent now. <laughs> I know. But aren't like, you glad you came today? Yeah, aren't you? This is, we talk about I love it. Really this is literally stuff. how my brain works. Yeah, so this no. is great. I was just going to say, I was so comforted to hear you spiral like on these types of things because I relate so heavily. Oh, yeah. I could literally talk about it for an hour. For an hour. And we probably will. <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. But it's so true. There are, I'm not going to stop. No, no please. There are please, all don't. these tricks, like how you store your fruit and like all these things and like the paper oh, towels and the I know. containers. I get really overwhelmed. Di- but I can't with the containers. I feel like the containers are a scam. Like they come in? No, like the containers are trying to sell you that you, that you should buy for your right. fridge oh, to like the, store things. Yeah, with yeah. like the vent thing. I'm like, I don't think they, I did buy one and I was like, this shit doesn't work. Oh yeah, I got it's it. Like TJ Maxx in the aisle yeah, checkout. Yeah. I'm but like, it, I'm going to buy it. There's no difference. No. Like they spoil when they spoil. The same yeah. if it's in the original or in that whatever container. And I'm like, great. I just like bought more plastic. Cool. Right. That's the problem is you're buying more we're, plastic. Uh, that's and we're trying to thing. get rid of the plastic. Trying to get rid of the plastic. It's infuriating. And it's, then it's just so like you just feel like you're stuck in this so endless, endless circle. cycle. Of- <laughs> but doesn't it kind of turn you on a little bit when you... Uh, no, it like turns me can, on I, a little I, bit. Yeah. Oh, like the videos see, of those fridges? Yes. yes. No, I know. Oh, that yeah. is yeah. like, that is like my porn. I got a little hot. But I'm yeah, like, ooh, yeah. ooh, that it looks, looks so good. Like, so I can't. Be that organized. I would do it one time though. That's Here's it. the truth. Is yeah. I would do it one time and then the rest of the time it would be a fucking shit show. Shit show. Yeah. Because there would be all these containers in the fridge and I wouldn't, I would just be shoving things in there and yeah. it would be a disaster. Yeah. I have a question. What do we do with the things that we're getting rid of? I mean, we waste so much. We really do. I'm trying what do you to mean, be food or food. Things. Food. Like, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm saying like food, like when things are like kind of bad mm-hmm. and you're throwing it away or leftovers or any right. of that. I'm like, this should be going somewhere. There should be someone that comes every night and picks up I feel all like the there stuff is a and goes service. feeds people. Is Eesh. there? Isn't there? Is there? <laughs> See, this is the problem. More We're things like, my kids don't like. They'll be like, I don't uh, like that. And I'm like, well, that's a waste. Uh, right, I right. know. I bought these, like, I was trying to get more calories into my kids at one point, And I bought these little, like, like protein shakes for kids. I forget yep. what they're called. Yeah. It's like a muscle milk, but for kids. Right. Not that brand. But the anyway, ripple, the ripple they things. did not. They were like, this is disgusting. <laughs> I will not drink this. And then I had bought the whole fucking carton from Costco. Oh, and I was like, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> I was convinced they were going to like it for some reason. Yeah, yeah because it's like, like it's vanilla. Or, it was like, like, or it was yeah. like birthday cake flavor or yeah. something. I was like, whatever. I'm going to get the sweetest shit so yeah. that I can just get some calcium and calories into these <laughs> kids. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I did end up uh, donating it to his preschool, though. Okay, I asked there you the go. preschool. That's I said, would you take this and, like, just have it on hand right. for, like, kid that likes it, extra snack? And she was like, yeah, we'll take it. Oh, that's like, great. Great. My mom put compost bags under my sink, and she's like, anytime it's food or, like, clearing plates, you're putting it in here now. I did start doing but that. Then you what did? Do you do yes. with it? I haven't gotten that far. In it goes the in the green the bin. 
It you goes, can, yeah. It can go oh, in, the in the green bin now. Bin. It can go like with your plant material. Yes. Got it. And you can also, hot tip, my friend told me this, <laughs> you can See? put it in a brown paper bag, like especially now in the summer so it doesn't get stinky. Really? Yes. Because you can compost the, you the can compost brown, the brown paper well, pizza down. boxes and brown paper bags can go in the, in the, comp, <gasps> in the green bin. See? That's so this very that's valuable what I started very doing. information. This is the most important conversation we've ever had on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm always like, what's this the is next helpful. step? Though? The like, other what do you big do? one I've started doing is recycling clothes, especially like How? the kids. So there is, um, you <laughs> oh, know that um, clothing company Four Days. No. no. Okay. There's a like small clothing company called Four Days, and they have a partnership with this other brand called Trashy. Anyway, if you Google either Four Days or Trashy. Um, there's this bag you can buy for 20 bucks and it's a huge bag. And then you can just put all your kids fucking, my kids destroy, destroy. Their clothes. Yeah. I have yeah. two boys. She does too. There's barely yep. any clothes mm-hmm. from the older one that I can save for the little one at this point. <laughs> like a t-shirt and that's yeah. it. Like yeah. something he didn't he like didn't and never, wear. yeah, that he yeah. didn't wear. Um, they trash their clothes. So you can put clothes. I think you can even put shoes, stuffed animals, sheets, towel, whatever. And then they have like a bunch of partners that they recycle the clothes. It becomes different things. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so that's really old. good. And then so you get the stained stuff though. It's uh, not like, it's not. It can be st- anything. Oh. It can be anything. Anything. Hmm. Yeah. They do ask that you wash it, that, like, it's clean. Like, even if it's stained, it's fine, but just as long as, like, it's cleaned. Yeah, really good. Um, But, yeah, and it's, like, given, it's made me feel so much better because I was throwing out I know. And they grow so fast, and, like, they go through that shit so And I knew I couldn't donate it because it was trash. And I was, like, the stains. And the stains and the rips. The the knee rips. And the collars. I'm, like, what what is happening up here? I don't understand. What is that? What? I don't know. I don't get it. It gets to be a hand me down, and then my little one's wearing these like (laughs) deep. I'm like, that's like a (laughs) deep. And I'm like, whatever. It it is what it is. Extra sunblock. This is what we're doing. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 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 So that one's a good one. I'm going to Google. Wait, how old are your boys? Four and eight. Oh. God, that's good ages. How, I have an eight and a five-year-old. Oh, yeah. two boys. Yeah. 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 So I, this, you probably felt this last summer. I just told my husband the other day, uh, at first I didn't realize why. I was like, I feel so much more relaxed this summer. I'm really like mm-hmm. enjoying this summer. And then it hit me. I was like, oh, we're out of the toddler years. Mm. Right. He's, he can swim. He's on yeah. his potty train. He's not napping. We don't have to, like, run from the beach for a nap or, like, right. deal Thanks with meltdowns. Yes. He can tell me when he's hungry for the most part. Like, yeah. That's so nice. You can it, you can travel so much better, too, at that age. Oh, yeah. You can go anywhere. You're like, you can walk. You can get yourself. Like, you are now a human. Yes. I they are so deal. easy on the oh, plane yeah. now. It's oh. incredible. Oh, the plane. That's yeah. a whole other It's amazing. Level. And they're yeah. used to doing the, like, because we go back east a lot. Yeah. So they're used to longer flights, and they're fine. No. Yeah. It's great. Just, do they do iPads? iPads. They do iPads. iPads. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they do Same. iPads. It's Sometimes like, it, a little one will like want to draw or whatever, like halfway through, yeah. take a break, or he likes to take a nap on a plane. Are you kidding? That's he, amazing. That is. My older one never did this. Yeah. He will be like, <laughs> I'm tired, mama. I'm going to put my le- head on your lap. I'm like, okay. Oh my gosh, ah. that's so sweet. And then he like falls asleep watching his iPad and he'll snap for like an hour. That is God's it's, gift. Like you that know, is, it's a gift. That is a head gift. on the lap. I was carrying Shepard, my younger one, today. And I was, his leg hurt. So I was like carrying him to the car and he had his arms around me. He was holding me. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to hold you forever. You're going to get big and mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to hold you. And he goes, I'm still little. <gasps> oh. And I said, you're still little. <laughs> and he's like, he's too big. And I was like, he's too big. I can't hold Dude, him like I have that. a nine-year-old no, daughter. No, that's tragic. No, you she's hold still- she <laughs> insists that I carry her because she doesn't want to let go of being little. Oh, my God. You carry Briar? 
I can't carry Elliot no, anymore. I'm having hip problems. I I'm, I have my back thrown She's out. She's bigger like, than you, Rachel. She's almost bigger than me. Oh now, my God. It doesn't take much, okay? <laughs> but she literally is like to he- like at least my chin, like above my chin. She's oh, by tall. the way, I don't She's know tall. if you drink not. coffee, but Rob Oh, yeah, that's for you. you. <gasps> yeah, it's You're like a, my favorite people. <laughs> yeah, officially. You already were, but now, <laughs> but now it's more so. so. You, see, yeah. you know, any, I drink so much coffee. Okay, so good. Much. That's for you. All day. Mm, it's like a delicious had, cream top something. Oh, my God. I don't know. That's, that's so Rob. Rob is yeah. very particular about where he gets his matchas and coffees from. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. That was important. The best best. That was important. That was did, really important. Yeah, you didn't know. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy you noted that. <laughs> um, <both> that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it is a whole thing because she doesn't want to get bigger and she's having this issue, but it's really hard because she is. Oh, so yeah, she's really tall. She has the longest legs I've ever seen in my life. I have the shortest legs probably known to man. At least for, <laughs> no. I mean, I'm a no. very um, short person. She is Tall she's gonna be long tall. legs. She's gonna be taller than you. Yeah, and she loves to run. And she's gonna be like a run. Everything opposite me. I, mean, I can barely walk. And I love she sitting. Love to sit. <laughs> love laying in my bed. I'm so good at sitting. I mean, Same. it's really a talent. Yes, truly. I'm trying to do like they say like ten thousand steps, right? And your phone counts your steps. It's impossible. <laughs> Yesterday, I looked. It was like in the evening. I'm like, oh, I want to see how it was like. 1800 like it was so <laughs> and low. how many are you supposed to do 10,000 oh yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah. Um, but you can only I, I've only ever hit ten, like it's it has to be so intentional you have to go to for like so, a long walk you have to, to like hit 10,000 every day everywhere yes tell, tell her about your friend what friend and it said oh. an alarm for oh <laughs> my friend <laughs> <laughs> she sets an alarm. She saw this on Instagram. She sets her alarm for every hour on the hour it goes off, and she automatically just drops and does 10 squats. <laughs> she, this is new. But she'll this be like in the like middle of ago. doing that other things, no, and then it's just, and then she's just like, I gotta do it. <laughs> Cole, please. How she many does like she do? 10. 10. And she was, had like 10 things cooking at the same time. Oh she's my in God. the middle, things are burning, whatever. It goes off, and she just goes, and she just drops. <laughs> It's Isn't it good? amazing. No, but she saw that if you I, do that, I appreciate like, oh, the dedication. Like, honestly, Same. I'm like, I think I need to try it. You guys, if I drop in the middle of the interview, <laughs> we like it. We'll it's understand. Good. We'll I mean, understand. Yeah. Just drop it. I know. I'm it, married to someone who's a fitness freak. Oh, and um, <laughs> I one time was like complaining about being busy and not having any time to work out. And he was like, babe. Just before you get in the shower, do 50 squats. 50? Do as many push-ups as you can and then get in the shower. And I was like, ah, that makes a lot of sense. But like, who's going to do that? <laughs> I'm not gonna do, I don't have time. He's like, you have time before a shower. I was like, mm. oh, it's very frustrating. Right. When that he's is really right. frustrating. What kind of, do it? What kind of <laughs> fitness freak is he? He's just one of the, you know what? For him, it's his therapy. I yeah. get it. He yeah. started working out really young at like mm. 13 and... It just became part of his life. And he also, like, snowboards and surfs and, like, did wrestling for a while, did jiu-jitsu for a while, did boxing for a while. And it's, if he doesn't, when he does get busy and he can't get to it, which is rare because he's so disciplined, Hmm. like, it will even get to the point where I'm like, you need to you work need out. To work. Yeah. yeah. Like, you need to go do yeah. your thing. I like, get yeah. it. Yeah. It just keeps him straight. Right. Like, yeah. Right. I'm yeah. not and it's that person. amazing. Yeah, I wish That's, I was more I that person. I'm a little bit. I become a little bit I've more like that. that. What do you do? Yeah, I. Uh, you know, since the pandemic, I mean, I've always, I grew up a dancer and then mm. I, I've done yoga on and off for a really long time, and I've always been like an active person. Mm-hmm. Um, but really like I've started like a little bit more strength training since I had my second and it was Mm. during the pandemic Mm -hmm. and it started to become, I think that's when like it shifted a little bit for me because it started to become my like also mental escape, which yoga always kind of was, Yeah, but yeah, but now I'm like doing more weights. That's what I'm doing now too. Which apparently we're supposed to too at this age. Yeah. Mm. I I told you that what they learned, right? The, you know how you always hear, like, as you get older, your metabolism slows down, yada, yeah. yada. They're saying that's not actually true. It's that your muscle oh, mass yeah. goes down. So that's what controls your metabolism. Mm. So mm. I've been getting up at 4.45 and going to work out. Stop it. No. That, okay. I know. Offensive. Offensive. <laughs> to myself, it's offensive. Yeah. Rude. She does not Rude. do well. <laughs> 
She does not do well with that kind of thing. I don't, but a dear friend of mine is, so my brother's living with us and he's a personal trainer. So he's training us and that's mm-hmm. the best time our schedules work. So I've been doing it and I've been like, I'm not going to go today. What time do you wake up? 4.45. I wake up at 4.45. Oh, you wake up at 4.45. Okay. I get okay. there at 5.30. Okay. It's so. stupid. But I'm, and and I was like, I'll never do you. that in a million years, like ever. But because it meant so much to them, I'm like, fine, I'll give it a try. And now. Now it's a thing. It's kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a thing. Because I'm like, when I don't go and I see them, I'm like. Oh, she got she got really good endorphins today. Like yeah. she's feeling it. Yeah. She's feeling yeah. good. <laughs> she's, you know? she's in a better place mentally than I am today. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. It's I real. Know. I was never a morning workout person. When I before I had kids, I was always like a late afternoon, early evening workout person. Like love that. Love to like finish a workout, have a meal, and then just like be ready for bed. That sounds nice. Um, yeah. That sounds and like then, schedule. but then like you can't do that with kids. You can't. No. 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 It's impossible. So now, yeah. Do? <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. You can, you can come with me because we're so close to each other. You can but I don't, work out yeah, I haven't been able to do that <laughs> early. I do it like right after drop off is That's my time. What, my ideal same. time is. Yeah. That sounds yeah. same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get home. I usually have like some time, um, like about an hour before I have to that's do other. That's the best time. And then that's the best time. And Agreed. Then, yeah. 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 You need that schedule. I know. I don't know what you're going to do, though. Well, I don't figure it out. Yes. I don't know. Like, How did you meet your husband? I'm just curious. And at work, yeah. we met on a soap opera. When I was you very know, young. I was like, I knew that because I Oh, you did it, knew. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't see that. Broad Ideas is supported by Article. I have been a longtime fan of Article. My dining room chairs currently have the coziest sheepskin padding on them from Article. I've had them forever, but not only that, I have lamps, I have my desk, it's my favorite desk from Article, and honestly, just how easy it is to order with Article makes me such a fan. Also, Olivia has a green velvet couch that's my favorite from Article. I love how Article has a curated assortment of mid-century modern coastal industrial boho designs. And it makes furniture shopping so simple because everything is so cute and it all goes together. Article's team of designers, they're all about finding the perfect balance between style, quality, and price. Article is offering our listeners $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. To claim, visit article.com slash broad and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. That's article.com slash broad for $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. <laughs> what soap opera did you guys meet on? Uh, One Life to Live. Oh, that's right. That part. Yeah. yeah. It was my first job right out of school. And he had been on and off the show for a while. And then about a year after I think I was on, they brought him back for like a short storyline. And I had just broken up with someone and we met and started dating. And it was like, cool, this is going to be like a fun winter fling on the rebound. And then like right before he left to come back to LA, I was like, hey, I love you. Just... Yeah. And, and that then, was that. That was and then that was that. So how, you guys have been together how many years? So long. That's so really long. long. So long. That's a long time. <laughs> uh, I think this year is, I think this December will be like 20 years together. Wow. Yeah, it will 20. be. 20. That is a long time. That's so I was, you were so many. young. I was so years. young when I met him. And you guys were to, have been together this whole time? Yes. Do you still wow. like him? I do. That's good. I do. That's I mean, I have small kids, so like yes, any mom, sometimes yeah. I'm just Duh. like, I don't know why, but you're annoying the fuck out of yes. me. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I still like him. That's, That's really, good. That's really good. nice. Yeah. And then are your parents still together? My parents are still together. My parents are high school sweethearts. Oh, my God. See, I had a feeling like the pattern. And then, yeah. And then his parents are still together, too. And they've been together since they were young. Yeah. There it is there. I know. I think that is. It makes sense. It's a thing. I think it is a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, this is what we do. This is, yeah. Yeah. This is how it goes. Through thick and thin. Yeah. 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 And knowing that it goes like this, you know. Right. And are you both working 
Um, we Switched. were just both working the last couple of weeks were a bit chaotic, but now we're both off. And I have a show I'm going to do in the fall. Um, Wait a minute. What show are you doing? Uh, Gross Point Garden Society. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wait. I looked at that. Wait, which role? I read that. Uh, yeah. You did? Yes. Which yeah. role did you read for? I didn't read for Catherine. it. I read. I was, was going to say Catherine. It was probably going to be my guess. Catherine. Was it? It was Catherine. Who are you? Who are you? Birdie. That's the best That's part. the part. I read for Catherine too because I was a little scared to read for Birdie. Mm-mm, I thought Birdie was the best part. And it's going to shoot in Atlanta. And how, how does, does that work? work? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so every job, it's like, how are we going to do this? Um, yeah. My my husband, actually, when my older son was born, he was on a show in New York. Mm. And yeah, for that whole first year um, after Enzo was born, it was, and I was working on Brooklyn doing yeah. 22 episodes. And so it was me and the nanny. Wow. Just co-parenting. And then David came home every two to three weeks for a few days for like seven months. It was hard. It's a first time mom and our baby, our older one was a tough baby and it was really hard. Um, So this time I feel like it's a little easier because they're in school and there's that like routine at least Monday through Friday. Um, But I, the kids are going to stay. We went back, yeah. back and forth, but yeah. switching it's my, choices. it's really hard. Yeah. Switching my kid, my older one out in the middle of the school year just didn't feel like the no. move. Mm-mm. And I know he's going to have a really good teacher going into this next Got third it. grade. Yeah. So that also, I didn't want to risk that. Yeah. Um. So David's going to stay with the kids. Yeah. And he's going to have a lot of help and support. Yeah. And then I'm going to fly home every other weekend. Yeah. And then I think we might try to do like a month all together in the middle of the run. Got it. How do you do that? They'll do, come to Atlanta. They'll, yeah, his school, we'll they, get, I already like, asked the them. They were like, yeah, yep. you sign like a extended oh, absence good. and the teacher sends the work. I will say I love Atlanta. Atlanta's beautiful. It's so green. You know, there's a lot of other places this could yeah. be. And I felt like I got really lucky that it's Atlanta. Mm-hmm. The flight is also not that bad. Yeah. And it's direct um, and yeah. easy. And then yeah. we'll, you know, we'll see how it does and maybe, but, yeah. you know, a couple school Readjust. years yeah. are and we love in Atlanta are still on the table. Yes. Anna Sophia is the best. She's so great. And Ben Rappaport is the best. No, it's like cast-wise, it's, I, I feel like I struck the lottery again, That's awesome. won the lottery again because yeah. it's- Wait, is Kevin Volchuk your agent? Yeah. Yeah, that's our dear friend. Oh my He's God, Mary! Yes. Oh, that's right, because our his ba- wife Nicole. is your yeah. yes. yes. That's yes. right. I love Aww. him. He's love Kevin. Mm-hmm. He's the absolute best. He's one of my favorite people. Who happens to be an agent? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like legit, yeah, hundred no, percent. No. Yes, he's the best. The he, best human. Yes. Yeah. Such a good I human. That. I know. That's so funny. So many little so connections. many little connections. Yeah. But that's so cool. I mean, you've been a working mom the whole time. We've yeah, been a mom. the whole time. But like pandemic and strike has been a little weird because my youngest is not as broken in as my oldest. Got it. Yeah. Because he was born during the pandemic. And right. so mm. you were always there. <laughs> I've always I've kind of always been here. Yeah. yeah. Like I when I went to shoot the pilot, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because when I did, I did Blockbuster in Vancouver, but that was he was only two, like yeah. a young so two. He, was, he yeah. doesn't remember. Yeah. But this, when I did the pilot, I was gone for a month. And he, this was like his first time kind of experiencing mm-hmm. that. And he did pretty well. He's still at that age where it's like, FaceTime's not always the move. Yeah. Right. I have to check in first. Yeah. Like, yeah, is yeah, it yeah, a FaceTime yeah. day uh-huh. or not? Uh-huh. You know? Like, is it going to make it worse? Is it going to make it worse yeah. if he right. sees me? Yeah. Sometimes out of sight, out of mind is a little better. No. Uh, it's hard to it is. figure out. They're no, it adaptable, is. They're adaptable, though. They're, They're so, so adaptable. They're so adaptable. And I also try to tell myself, like, even though our job takes us away from our kids and our family for, like, these chunks of time that are so hard— we also get the privilege of like, you know, a whole month off and like just be around totally. all the time or like take mm-hmm. nice trips or, you know, so you it's, right. it's its own I'm back together. It's its own kind of balance. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll make it sure is. I won't work right after the show yeah. wraps. Like, right. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always say God doesn't give with two hands. 
Yeah. Like there's always a trade. There's always a trade. There's always a trade. Yeah. And the trade is you get more concentrated time when you get home. Yeah. Which is amazing. Did Brooklyn shoot here? Mm-hmm. So lucky. Dream. Dream. Yeah. Such a dream. Like yeah. at Radford. At Radford? It at Radford. It couldn't be better. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I had a seven-minute commute. I mean, yeah. I would bitch on the days that we, like, of shot course. downtown. I was like, ugh. Yeah, we gotta go downtown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I know you really take it for granted. I shot mm-hmm. a show for like four years at the Warner Brothers lot, mm-hmm. and I, I'm like, I gotta fucking go to Burbank. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Was, at the time, it was like 15 minutes away. 15 minutes. Oh so yeah, I know. that's a I know. gift. I know. It is amazing. I know. We sound, we sound like we just like it's crazy, but yes, that's yeah. so lucky. And it's what a very great show lucky. to have been a part of. Yeah, how yes. much fun was that? It was really fun. It was really fun. Was as much a, fun as it looked you, like, and as much fun as it seemed we were having, we were having that's that so much great. Fun. Yeah, it was how many season, seasons? Eight. Holy shit! Dang. Wow. It was like mm, almost a decade of my life. So how That's do you? Crazy. How do you kind of put that to rest? Like, how does that go? Honestly, it's I don't know. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I actually I was working yesterday on the Universal lot and found out that uh, three people that worked on Brooklyn were like on the stage next to the one I was shooting on. So I went over there to say hi to them, <laughs> and and then I left and I was like so happy. That I just got to catch up with them and hug them and see them. And then also simultaneously, like, so sad. Yeah. And the, like, first thing I did was, you know, text our little group chat that we have. And I was like, you guys, I just saw, like, Matt and Tony and B, and it was awesome. <laughs> and then, you know, and then we just all started, like, texting. And, and it's weird. It's just weird. You yeah. spend so much time with these people. And then... Yeah, like now, I I think this is the longest I've gone without seeing like Joe and Andy and Steph because we've all been in different cities and different right. times, and um, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Yeah, it but is we're super weird. proud of it, and people have been like, I'm. There's like a whole slew of like young people that are finding it now That's, that yeah. it, since it's gotten on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. which is kind of fun. It's it just fun. keeps like a whole going, resurgence. keeps finding. Yeah, it keeps it like ends. finding little new lives and. So, which is nice. People are like, it's so funny, which is amazing Obviously, to hear yeah. because it was now, you know, over a decade ago. Right. Those episodes, but it's you still know? So, the fact that it yeah. still hits, that it mm-hmm. still makes people laugh. Yeah. It's huge. Is huge. Like, is yeah. Is comedy your favorite? Like, what's your favorite? Yeah, because you switch to, that's not comedy. Right. Gross, Gross point? point? Yeah. No. no. I get to do a little bit of fun you're stuff. Yeah, yeah, with you're Birdie, cares. I get to yeah. do a little. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 For sure. Um, and uh, I, I love them both. I think comedy is um, still not intimidating, but it's, you know, I don't know. I feel like you can prep. Like with drama, you can prep. You can really yeah. do your work. Comedy is like showing up and being like, I hope the funny gods are with me today. <laughs> and I hope some ideas come in my brain. And I hope I can think of some stuff to do. And here we go. You know, and so, but it's kind of thrilling, you know, yeah. there's like a, an adrenaline junkie kind of yeah. part of my personality that loves that about comedy. Um, and, you know, I mean, drama is obviously spontaneous too, but not in a different way. Right. Very different. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Johnny on the spot. No. Where What'd you com- say? Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know. Yeah. But just like throwing out these like old-timey like <laughs> That was my comedy. <laughs> that was your comedy. That was your comedic timing. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, I love, yeah, I love them both, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But how is it, how is it different living in those two different worlds? Does that affect your world at all? Uh, hmm. Like, do you find yourself funnier when you're working? <laughs> <laughs> I think I am actually. I do. I think it's yeah. just from being around other funny people. It's contagious. It's contagious. You're like getting the. You're like ready yeah, for you the kind of get in like yeah. uh, a groove. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, and I think I think um, drama drama can be also like a little bit more tiring mm-hmm. in a sense because mm-hmm. yeah. you can you know especially if you're doing emotional stuff like that's yeah. you know. Comedy is like 
comedy can be draining if it was like a day where like jokes weren't working and you had to figure it out and, you know, right. but then if you figure it out, it's like, then you have a surge of energy. I don't, you know, they're just different. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. I do think you are what you eat. Like, I think that what you surround yourself with, you carry, right? Mm, mm-hmm. So I remember when I watched too many crime shows, I'd start thinking in that voice. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like she was merely going to see a friend. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then you get a little bit more paranoid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Like I'm wondering when you were on a soap, were you like, where were you? No, (laughs) no, I think I think the comedy part of my personality when I was on the soap was always trying to undercut that with being silly and stupid. Like I was really silly on set and they actually would start giving uh, Tuck Watkins, who's a another actor who works in comedy a lot who was on the soap with me and there was a third person who was also just like naturally funny they started putting us in scenes together (laughs) and like I was like are you trying to do comedy on a soap opera like what are (laughs) we doing but they would like write the silly stuff for us and I'd be like great um but I would just like I would have a crying scene and I would just fuck around on set I didn't know to the time that was just like what felt natural to me to like yeah. Yeah. deal with the heaviness, you know? Yeah. It was yeah, just that like makes a lot of sense. Making the crew laugh and like being a total fucking clown and then doing the ridiculousness. And, and then, then could you turn it right on to I can tears. kinda kind uh maybe not. No. If I'm like tears, tears, I'm probably more in a focused state, but um, Wait, can we make you cry right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. Cry on no. The spot. Like, I wish we, I was I, one we of those. Could, but uh, I wish yeah. I was one of them. No, I'm not. Stephanie Beatrice can do that. Yeah, you'd be like cry, and she'll be like, Ooh, and just Dude, like tears. I know it's crazy. Know. <gasps> like, Some people can just do that. Misha Barton was like, <laughs> oh yeah, I, not, like just drop of a dime. Doesn't yeah, doesn't matter. Tears would just be flowing. And yeah, I'm like. Some people just have that you? ability, yeah. They really do. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I have to, like, focus I and, like, focus do work and, or, yeah. you know, or yeah. do the, you know, have a tweezer in your pocket, yeah. like <laughs> Joey says. <laughs> from friends, yeah. I go, I subscribe to the acting school is of Joey. It, <laughs> is the other one, like, the smell of fart? Yeah. 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 The smell of smell fart, fart acting. acting. The smell mm-hmm. of fart. Oh, I mean, God, that was a good very, episode. Yes. They're just very handy tips. Mm-hmm. I find. They are. Yeah. Real life. What do you do if you do have to cry? Oh, like uh, what do you do? Oh, oh yeah. If you have to focus, what does I just it look have to like? focus. Yeah, do you, like, I just to have music to like or? whatever. Uh, I think it changes with each character. Um, sometimes it is music. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like making playlists for characters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then, yeah. 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 (laughs) I felt that. And then, yeah, it's like whatever prep work works for that, whatever helps you like really believe in that moment, I Mm. think. Like the truth of it is like how I can get to it. And then if I'm not believing in it, then, you know, tricks that you fall back on. Right. Yeah. (laughs) But, tricks. <laughs> yeah. The soap opera. Yeah. Like, smell you know. of fart. Things. Yeah. yeah. Smell of fart. Think of something <laughs> super sad. Yeah. <laughs> That's always fun. When you have kids, so I find it much easier to like tap into that. Mm. Having oh, deep, yeah. dark sorrow. I cry. <laughs> <laughs> Since becoming a mom, I cry so much more than I did I mean, before. Yeah. It's definitely easier. I think also getting older, but like, yeah. All of the things. All the things. All the things <laughs> all that the come things, with it. Yes. But yeah. Really like, All you have to, to do. I remember I was in yeah. acting class and I was having a hard moment and my teacher just went, Shepherd. And I was like, because that's my son's name. Oh. And I had <laughs> so hard- that's just the word that makes me <laughs> <laughs> That's my son's name, but I had had right, such like right. a hard thing, like a hard like birth and all of that. Oh, so yeah. She would just be like shepherd and I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like not even be able to carry on. You know, yeah. like it's yeah. that love. Like all I would have to say to you is like, no, don't. I don't cry, cry right now. Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's like that. That simple. Just it, their it name. Is. Sometimes it is. Yeah. Yeah, because you're sort of ripped open in a way when you have kids. Yeah, literally. Is, and yeah, literally emotionally and emotionally and, and all of it. All of it that it just is. something like all these vessels open. I think anything you had walled up just comes crumbling down. And yeah, it's but also intense. like literally the things that like I get so motion sick after I had her and I yeah. never did before. Oh, guys, <laughs> we're going deep. And that happened. I mean. 
It's a thing. <laughs> I get I, same. You know, one hundred percent. I can't go on that? any spin rides. I mean, they. Th- I think they change why our whole chemistry. They, they change, change our everything. whole chemistry. I had one. I had prescription, and one eye gets slightly better after my <laughs> son. <laughs> And I was like, what? And my eye doctor was like, it happens. I was like, what do you mean it happens? Like, what is that? Like, there's all these crazy hormones in your body. And sometimes they like do bad stuff. And sometimes they like regenerate your fucking eyesight a little bit. That's amazing. I need to have another kid. My eyes are going. (laughs) My eyesight (laughs) left me after having kids. My hair left me. I have like the thing after having. Oh, Oh, all my hair. I think it is the cruelest, you know, the cruelest joke that all our, we get this gorgeous, luscious hair when we're pregnant. While you're pregnant and 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 breastfeeding, like all of it. it all fucking falls out. All falls out. Goes. It's like all of it. The my one ponytail. consolation prize, uh, besides the baby, obviously, <laughs> is that we no, should get to <laughs> keep our hair, our pregnancy no, hair. No, I'm telling you, this ponytail. Or the glowing skin. Or the glowing skin. I would t- even yeah. take the hair. Yeah, I would take the hair over I would the take skin. the hair I would over take anything. the hair. Were you, like, pulling out mounds of hair and, like, it's, like, everywhere you go? Yeah. In the shower, yeah. like, just And the constant. little, like... Yeah. And the baby hairs. Oh, the baby hairs. The little baby hairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I was pregnant... I was working on Brooklyn, and I remember the hairdresser was doing my—the hair person was doing my hair, and she held up literally, like, a chunk, like, this thick, but it was short hair. It was only (gasps) to here. And I was like, I thought I had, like, a bat— like. I was like, what the fuck is that? And she was like, <laughs> I was like, why is it so short? Like thinking like, did my, like crazy, did my husband cut my hair in the middle of the night? Like, how did this happen? And she was like, it's new hair. And I was like, <gasps> whoa. It's crazy. Oh. Does your hair dry like that? No, it's a little bit done from work yesterday. Okay. Because I was so pretty. offended. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad so to angry. hear. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, it's, good. It's 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 day better. old show hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Day old show hair. But you still have beautiful <laughs> thick. I'm just my. Hair. I know mine. Too. I feel like my hair looks like Joan Jet. Like it's like it a does mullet. Not. It has <laughs> it has naturally cut itself into these weird <laughs> layers. <laughs> it naturally cut its into a Joan Jet. Hundred oh, percent. You're like, like I weird. haven't been to the salon in years, and I just this no, just you, happened. Oh, my hair, hair it's so you guys, my hair has it's not been cut in years. I did not have layers. I didn't have bangs. What is this? Maybe it's new hair. What? This is not it's new. It just keeps going it's, like this. It keeps going up. <laughs> like my hair is shrinking. She goes, all my hair is shrinking. I was like, I don't think that happens. It's like, I don't think your hair shrinks. It's 100% shrunken. I don't think it shrinks. I don't think that happens. That is what happened, happened, happened to so. me. I, don't think I mean, so. you're, you are witnessing. <laughs> never had bangs. Never had a cut. At least the past. Look at all this. Seven years. Look at this. This is all new. All oh, these short, that's all you're just new. showing off. See, that you're getting new. What are hair. you doing? She are you is doing, doing something? Vegamore. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 She's it's doing working. something. Mm-hmm. It's working. I do think those. I was taking a hair supplement for you a were? while Did after, it end? like Nutrafol or something. No, it was. Um, it was called like Hairfinity. Oh. <laughs> My, I think my <laughs> nanny after my uh, first nanny told me about it. She was like, "You just have to get some hair affinity." I was like, "What is that?" And it did help. Maybe I, yeah, I need I it. I think the things help. Mm-hmm. I, I think the things help. help. The things like Joan Jet needs some help. Yeah, and t- you should take what you have is the needed um, collagen powder. Okay. Yeah, I have yeah. all the things. Yeah. All the things. I'm just try get all on the it, guys. things. Just, just start try. taking my all hair. Is not going to shrink anymore, and then it will stop shrinking. It will stop shrinking. Cutting hair. So I have that is self very cutting. Funny. It's hair. its own stylist. <laughs> <laughs> the Joan but Jet. think of all the money you're saving. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but is it helping me? I mean, I'd rather be spending the money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. The things we do and go through is all I have to say. I know. And then the guys just sit there and and then they get these crow's feet. 
they start making them look more attractive. It's infuriating. What the hell is it's that? Infuriating. Have you noticed that when like yeah. a guy smiles and yeah. you see all those lines yeah, and you're, and you're like, like, oh, that's that's hot. Like, yeah, that's or like sexy. A salt and pepper hair. You're like, yeah. oh. oh, I know. And it always comes in like the perfect perfect pattern. pattern. Like, it's, like fuck you. Highlighted. That's how I feel. I just have a <laughs> random gray streak. <laughs> yeah, and then just like it's all and it's sticking unevenly. straight up. Yeah, like, yeah. And it looks like a pube. And yeah. you're like, why? <laughs> and then your boobs change. Okay. Hey. Everywhere I go, though, my <laughs> husband gets compliments on his hair. Like oh. everywhere. People come up to us like strangers and they're like, I, I That's love your hair. And so I'm just annoying. Like, do you like his wrinkles too? Yeah. You know? They yeah. do. Yeah. They, they do. do like his penis. They do. <laughs> <laughs> do you like, oh, oh, yeah, do you like his penis? <laughs> do you? Sandra? <laughs> It's so true, man. I remember when my dad even went like salt and pepper gray and like I remember clocking like the attention or compliments he would get from like, you know, yeah. awkwardly from other moms or whatever. Yeah, People yes. talking about my dad being this handsome man and I was just like, why is this yeah. happening? <laughs> why is this happening? Yeah. It's not fair. No. What is up with Although. That? Well, no, I'm not. Well, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I mean, it's also how we've today. been. It's also how we've been conditioned. To, it that's is what how I was going to ask. Yeah. Do you think, I that think that's also, what it is? No, yeah, I think that's a big part of it. I mean, I think men legit do get like kind of better looking with age, but I think that women do too. We've just yes. been conditioned, conditioned to be like the male version of it is more acceptable and attractive, right? Yeah, we need to like do something about that. What do yeah. we do about that? Like Botox. celebrate? Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's the opposite, I'm right? Like, yeah, celebrate. I think celebrate like older no, women absolutely. who are beautiful more. Like, be 100%. more loud about it. You know, yeah, be my more loud about just it. Finally, like she stopped dyeing her hair a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, and she just embraced my mom too, yeah. and it looks so good. So, she gets so many compliments on it. I, oh, I she mean, does. I That's joke great. about my gray streak, but like, I actually hope it stays until I'm ready to go gray one day. Like that, it's not all because I think it will be. It's like a little bit of like a Cruella. That yeah, it's streak. like a lightning streak. Yeah, you yeah. can like almost, it's like kind of looks like a highlight. No, oh, no, but I don't see sometimes it. there's like, you can kind of see like it. It shows up the, sometimes. The dye, well, it doesn't take like the dye as much. Yeah. So it oh, always right. like is a little lighter. Yeah. But it's like kind of a cool streak. I'm not ready to have it. No, but, but I always there. Like one day when oh, I wow. am, it'd be cool if it didn't all go gray and yeah. I still got to like enjoy the streak. Right. Is it Linda Alvarez on the news? Do you know who I'm talking about? I don't. No. Nobody knows. <laughs> oh, somebody out there knows. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> she's got black hair and she's oh, been like local yeah, news forever yeah, and she yeah. has one big gray streak. I'm, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I love totally that. totally picture her. I did yeah. not know her name. <laughs> I love that she's like really in with the local news. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> like what? Like good day, not good day LA. No, just like local. I have no idea. Okay. Got I feel it. like it's like <laughs> local ABC news. ABC or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. Got it. There's got a it. lot of local just news in my house. Every died. day I walk in, there's local news. I like, Isn't that weird? Mm, no. No? The news is on in our house a lot, too. Is it local news? I usually turn <laughs> it to local news because a lot of times it's like CNN or something more serious. And then yeah. as soon as like You're the like, kids I might be pay, ha, paying attention, I change it to like local oh. news. Oh, see, I do you think change better? it away from local news. I guess it depends. Because they're like, well, they're in the morning, what? it's yeah. like good day, LA. Like, that's They're different. always being, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, cheerful that's and they're it's cheerful not like all and the it's dead not, yeah. Things. Like, here's, <laughs> the world is burning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but... No, yeah, local, local news, like five o'clock, like that's, that's the one that's, that's on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, da yeah, that's tricky. That's dangerous to have, I mean, around at least my little kid. Yeah, no, we can't have it around the kids, so they yeah. have to go in the other room. It's like, are the grandpas there and the, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. you're just like, okay. You just gotta, yeah, I You want to see how many people got shot in LA today. Right. And it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Dude, there was a home invasion down the street. I went to pick up my kids. I told you this, right? Mm -mm. I went to pick... Oh, you were gone. Mm -hmm. I went to pick up my kids right down the street. Uh -huh. And the school is blocked off and there was cops. And I was like, no, no, no. What is going on? Oh, God. And I Worst go, thing you want to see by your kid's school. Yeah. And they were like, we have it blocked off because there was a home invasion two doors down. And the owner shot them. One the is invader. on foot and the other one died. And I was like, 
okay. And they're like, so he's at large and we're just keeping the school locked down. And I was like, okay. And then the local news was there and I was like, oh. Linda Alvarez. Linda. Oh, Linda. Linda. <laughs> Do something. I'm like, my family is probably watching this from the living room right oh now. Oh my oh, God. It was scary though. Wow. That, that is scary. In the middle of the day. In the middle of the day. Yeah. But I feel like that the last like couple robberies or whatever, I've, that have been day. Day. Well, they have yeah. those like grab and what is it called? Those? Oh, like smash and grab. Smash and grab. grabs. Yeah. Those are during the those day. Those are during the day. It's all during the day. I guess I would rather it be during the day than like in the middle of the night when you're sleeping. Yeah. You're I'm, like, at I'm least be courteous where you don't scare us too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Maybe. Like, I like, want yeah, to I wake you. up. I <laughs> have a better chance of being like prepared maybe or doing something during the day. Yeah. Maybe. This took a dark turn and I'm sorry. It did. I apologize. She's really good at that. Oh. Yeah, I am yeah. too sometimes. So She's we're okay. really good yeah. at the dark yeah. turns. It's the local good. news. Should we talk about the death darkness. next? Yeah. 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 No, we're there. We're yeah. there. And we're ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we only have... A, oh, yeah. We only have a few for a smidge, minute. smidge more minutes. Oh, wow. Well, that oh, went yeah. so fast. Let's went so do fast. This. Okay. We'll do a so few fun cards. These cards are. Okay. These Rob were, picked them, so don't picked judge at, us. <laughs> Great. Judge him. Judge I will judge Rob. him. Okay. What's the worst movie you love to watch? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, Rob got a good one. What's a bad movie that I love to watch? Oh, man. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 you know, for a while it was... Um, Jupiter Rising. Oh, is that Channing? No. Channing Tatum. Yes. Yeah. And Mila. And yeah. I just loved to put it on at night. Cute. I just I was like, this is a fun ride. And I just like to go on it before I go to bed. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I do. This is so random. What is the best advice for a single father getting back out there to date again? <laughs> You are the expert. I on am the this. expert. In case you guys didn't know, yeah. Um. So, oh God, I have no. I don't know, man. I've been with my guy for twenty years. I don't even know how to date. I don't. I'm not. I'm not in a position to give anyone dating advice. Okay, I respect that. The house is on fire. What's the one item you grab? My children. Yeah. What about an item? Item. Item. Okay. I mean, they are items. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I guess probably. Um, probably my engagement ring because I don't always have it on. Oh. oh, that's a good thing to grab. I would probably grab that. Yeah. 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 Does it hold up? Yeah, it does. <laughs> 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 what We've do been you together mean? 20 years. I don't know. Does she still like it? Does it? Oh, still? I do. I do. I love it. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's I thought over you the like, years. Does it still have value? It's like, I, that you're that selling. Too. That's so funny. <laughs> um, no, it's that beautiful. I do. I do. I love it. Um, <laughs> Um, but over the, it, I have to get it resized. It's like a little bit. Sometimes it's tight. Like I, yeah, it's a little bit tight. Yeah. Like mm. yeah, I think just getting kind of like a noose around your neck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little tight. Just a little. I can live with it, but like it's just a little tight. This is a question from Rob. So this is not. We don't want to know this answer. But if you had a dick for a day, what would you do with it? <laughs> oh, Rob. <laughs> You wrote that one just for me. That's Clearly. right. I would do all the things. Right? Yeah. I would pee everywhere. Same. That's so important. And I it's definitely so would masturbate. Yes. yes. Right? And I definitely would try to find someone to have sex with. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Obvious. I mean. Right? Right away. If <laughs> me you too. I, I only know. have it for a day. Just yeah. one yeah, day. Yeah, a lot. And maybe like skinny dip. Okay. I don't know. Just to see what it feels like. Just to see. <laughs> yeah. Feels like in the water. Yeah. Flapping around. <laughs> just do that yeah. little, you know, they do oh, that. Oh, I definitely would, I do, would that. do that. I would do a lot of wiggles, a <laughs> lot of wiggles, a lot of dances. The thigh slap. The thigh the slap. I would, yeah. Hula hoop naked. <laughs> um, <laughs> go streaking somewhere. It would be a busy day. It would, there be, would be a lot. A busy I, if day. I woke up one day Dream and had dick. a dick, I'd be like, oh, clear the schedule. I have so much to do today. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a whole thing. I'd be stoked. That'd be fun. <laughs> that sounds like a fun movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's called it A Dick for like a Day. Best movie. <laughs> a Dick for a Day. Clear. 
Uh, I was sick uh, for a day. Yeah, yeah I need you to clear, clear my schedule. My schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long I have this, and there are things that need to get done <laughs> immediately. So good. <laughs> Do you but know where you, I can find a safe prostitute? Okay, would sorry. you would you hit up a girl you knew and just I think, be like, I would know, you? That was what my next question was. Like, someone who you would don't I have know. sex with? Right. Yeah. Oh God! You I mean, first I would check went. to see if my husband had a vagina, because that right. would be—I would Did be like, is, was this a switch situation? Yeah. Yes. Um, and then if not, yeah, I probably would just call—I don't know—all my friend. all my girlfriends I think are hot. <laughs> <laughs> And be like, are you down? This is weird, but are you down? I just <laughs> need to do this once. <laughs> yeah, you just it doesn't have to be weird. It doesn't have to be weird. You could just never... lay there. Yeah. It doesn't have to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so weird. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, could not. God. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just I was like, thinking about no, it. No, I know. I, know. I was just I was I was like, really? I was like, God, it'd be so fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some deep thought into that one. Yeah. Um, if you could listen to only one album for the rest of your life, which would it be? Oh, man. Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Ooh. I, that's mine. Yeah, really? that is yours. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's it came out on album. my 17th birthday. It's a perfect album. It it's a perfect, a perfect album. album. Uh-huh. I said a perfect outfit. It's a perfect outfit. <laughs> that too. <laughs> you want to do last one? Okay. You're going on a ski vacation with three <gasps> close friends. Who would you bring? Pick three people. And you're going to want to maybe pick people that we might know who they are. Right. Okay. Yeah. If I was just like, yeah. um, like I would um, take Lori and Zoe. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I'll get to the second part once you pick those three people. Okay. Three That's people. That's the question. <laughs> on a ski <laughs> vacation. God, I don't even know if I know anyone who <laughs> skis. Um. I would, <laughs> you know what? I probably would take Joe and Andy and Stephanie. Just off perfect. The, yeah, Great. perfect. Oh no, there's an avalanche. <laughs> Great. I'm and, you, and you all get trapped in the cabin. Who would you eat first? first. Oh God. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> your face. You're crying. I am crying. Oh God. <laughs> I hope he's not mad. I mean, I would eat Andy first <laughs> because <laughs> the only answer. I feel like Joe <laughs> is like maybe <laughs> would have the most ideas about how to survive. <laughs> And then I would need Stephanie there for like <laughs> your dick I, for, <laughs> for, for for dick for a day, um, and and so you know so then that just leaves Andy who I think would just be like freaking out maybe and like yes he would also be like keeping things light and making us laugh but at the end of the day I just I'm sorry Andy but I feel like you would contribute the least <laughs> to our survival and so we'd have to eat you first. Sandberg. <laughs> sorry Sandberg. Sorry. Love you. Love you, bud. Uh, this might be some thin, is- thin little thighs, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. But he's tall. He's, he's the tall. tallest. There's a lot yeah. of him. So, he's tall the glass tallest. Of water. He's the tallest of the, of the, oh of my the God. three of us. So oh my that too. That okay. was really worth it. That was worth it. We that have to end on it. that note because there's great. nowhere to go from here. No. That was the best thing that's <laughs> ever happened on this podcast. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done. That's a wrap. We're never doing another podcast again. <laughs> Enjoy your podcast retirement. <laughs> <laughs>